Theodore Edgecombe remains behind bars tonight. Earlier this afternoon, a jury found him guilty of first degree reckless homicide and the 2020 death of Jason Clearman. Our Cassidy Williams was inside of the courtroom and has more reaction to today's verdict. It was an emotional day in the courtroom as the jury decided Theodore Edgecombe is guilty, but not of something that comes with a mandatory life sentence. Family and friends of Theodore Edgecombe overcome with emotion moments after the verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Theodore Edgecombe, guilty of first degree reckless homicide. The jury finding Edgecombe guilty of a lesser charge. He was facing a count of first degree intentional homicide that comes with a mandatory life sentence, but the reckless homicide charge could still carry up to 60 years. He started a fist fight and then he brought a gun to it. He started a fist fight and he brought a gun to it. During closing arguments, prosecutors painted Edgecombe as the aggressor. The defense questioned the investigation and said this case is about something bigger. It's a precedent setting case. You know, this is a, a rare case that has been presented to you where this time there's an African American man who's now using self defense against a Caucasian man. You don't, you don't see that every day. After the verdict, the defense team declined to comment. The attorney for the Clearman family released a statement saying they, quote, thank the jury for their service and verdict and the police and prosecutors who worked very hard to solve this case. They continue to mourn the loss of their dear husband and father, Jason Clearman, and ask that their privacy be respected, comforted in the knowledge that justice has been served. Edgecombe sentencing is set for April 8th. Reporting from Milwaukee, Cassidy Williams. Fox 6 News.